I'm sitting here on the computer trying to figure out where we're gonna go for our stop tonight. We are gonna make it to Alabama. That is happening for sure. You gotta have a coffee with Abe. <laughs> Unfortunately. So it's that time. We're carrying a fishing line with a drone. How Yay. exciting is it to find an Aldi? Oh my gosh, so exciting. So, so exciting. So we came here with the ambition of just doing one of these bags and we filled up the entire cart because it's Aldi pricing. You can't and, beat it. I mean, for what we've been paying for the last four months, Yeah. this is absolutely astounding. We probably saved at least $200 compared to our normal bill. We paid $251 plus some change this would have easily been a four hundred dollar haul, easily. Yeah, without a question. All these for the win. And just to give you guys a little update, since we did leave the Florida Keys, we stopped over in Naples uh, just to. I had to get the typical testing done for my next contract, the uh, Q Gold blood test. Uh, you had to get drug, drug tested. tested. <laughs> the usual stuff. Yeah. You fellow travelers know the drill. If you're not traveling yet better be, be okay with being tested and stuff because it is before every single contract mm -hmm. and I also had a bunch of the realis testing which is just basically competencies to make sure you know your stuff mm -hmm. and good. then I got the modules emailed to me so that's next on the list but I still got about a week left of that to do that and we booked an extra night to get caught up on some content we also got Passport America yesterday, so we are really hoping that on our way up north, we are just going to stop at Passport America uh, stops and pay a lot less than we did on the way down. All right, we're going to see you on the road. Tomorrow's travel day. We have made it to our landing for the night. Just for the night. We are only staying one day here, but we're only paying eighteen fifty for this spot, and it's a nice spot. Yeah, it's a back-end grass site but it is long enough, we are able to stay attached for the night, and I yes. am thrilled about that. Yes, we didn't have to unhook the truck, that's awesome. But so far, Passport America is winning. This is Sun Retreats Ocala Orange Lake. <laughs> but we did find out with Passport America, first time using it, at this location anyway, does not qualify for the pull-through premium concrete sites. Right, so we did know that there were some stipulations with Passport America. Every campground is different, so they all have their own specific rules. You have to read through them on the website. This one specifically, you couldn't use Passport America anytime from January to April. Thankfully, we are now into May by just a couple days, so we were able to use it. Um, but it only worked for the grass sites, grass back-end sites. But full hookup, 50 amp. But yeah, full hookup, 50 amp, 18 bucks. Yep. I will take that. So far? I can't complain. I can't complain either. All right, we're gonna catch you tomorrow on another travel day. So the sun retreats here in Ocala. This is a huge dog park. It is two of these huge fenced in areas. Very nice if you have four legged friends. Marty's been loving it. We're heading out of Ocala, Florida today. We are going to get to Alabama. We're just not sure where, but we're gonna take you along. We just gotta make sure we get around this tree with no issues. They're reading high? Oh. Okay, might as well check them. Oh, 75. What are they rated or cold? 65. Really? Why would they be over? Temperature changes. Mm. Sixty 
65 and a half. 65 and a half, all right. Close enough. Right before we left, we just decided to manually check our tire pressures and they were all a little bit high, so we just let some air out of them. And that's just a kind of a good little thing. Every now and then check your pressures manually. Even if you got the TPMS systems, they might be a couple pounds off. Right. And it's just a good little safety check. Absolutely. And it's just a good idea to always keep one of those little handy, what are they called? A PSI reader? Tire pressure monitor. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an always, it's a good idea to keep one of those on hand. Yeah. Safety tip of the day. But now, another long drive day and we'll let you know what park we end up today. I just pulled over at one a little rest stop here on the highway. We're going to stretch a little bit. We got mm -hmm. about 60 miles to the campground. Yeah, this is a pretty nice little rest stop. Uh, it is. There's only like six spots, not even. One, two, three, four. Four spots. Yeah, but, but they do have a dump station at it, so yeah. that's kind of nice. But other than that, we just need to stretch. It's been a long day. It's been a long day of driving, so we're gonna walk around. We're gonna get Morty out too, and. Uh, Actually, this area is really, really nice to walk, so we're going to do a lap. Oh, now you're gonna be cute.
Okay, this is way nicer right. than what I was expecting. At your destination. Yeah, this this is much much better. Just pick a spot, huh? Yeah, the guy just said pick a spot. Um, arrived here. Back tires look good. Um, it looks like you go this way and then pull through that way. You think? That's what it looks like. I would go this way. That's my finger. There we go. Yes. So just to pull into like any spot. Um, I might have to stop filming just so we can where we're going. Alright, so we have proof. It's the fourth. Site number two, Johnston. We'll pay $20 because we have Passport America discount. And the very kind gentleman on the phone told me to just put it in the drop box by the office. So nice and easy. Nice and easy. Let's go do that. Come on, buddy. which one we decided to go to. Can't beat that savings. It's posted at four fifteen a gallon and we're paying two ninety seven. Yeah. Look, Not gotta bad. love open roads. Gotta love open roads. If you don't have open roads and you have a diesel truck, you are missing out. Also, some of these stations, you do have to go inside. So if it doesn't work at the pump the first time, just go inside and they'll take your card right at where they uh, pay for trucking. Yep. Nice and easy, makes filling up a thousand times better than trying to find a gas station. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> pick it up. Pick it up. Don't overfill it. If we have to take that with us, it's fine. Oh, 
really? Well, it's fine. Just put it in the back of the truck. It's, it's pretty cool. What do you got there, Jess? So this KOA uh, delivers food directly to your site. And we got the Graceland Dinner Special, two of them. It's their famous pork sandwich filled with coleslaw, smoked baked beans, potato chips, and chocolate chip cookies. I'd say for our first KOA, it's... Very it's... welcoming. Yeah. Like, I, this is a really nice feature. And look it, look at this. See what it looks like. Hope it looks good <laughs> for the camera. Tin foil. Hey, honestly, I'll take it. it. Smells really good. Morty obviously thinks it smells really good. This is not for you. So we just got outside of Memphis tonight, ordered our dinner, mm -hmm. and tomorrow we're gonna go down to Beale Street, do a little bit of exploring. Apparently it's Memphis Music Festival going on. Apparently there's a whole music festival going on, which we were not aware of. Very exciting. So we're pretty excited for that. We're, we'll take you along, show you a little bit of Memphis, and we only got maybe another week on the road. Yes, so we're gonna enjoy ourselves tomorrow though. We've had like three really long days on the road. We deserve to go have a little bit of fun. Too much driving. <laughs> All right, we are going to enjoy this dinner and we will catch you guys tomorrow. Exploring Memphis today. Which was not on our plan. However, when we checked into the KOA yesterday, they asked us if we were here for the music festival. And we were like, what? So we decided to come downtown Memphis today. This is Saturday. We're gonna go check out a music festival. Yeah. Kind or at least Beale Street. The fun parts of RV and when you just roll into a city and find out you got stuff going on. But either way, we're gonna go enjoy a little bit of food, some iconic Beale Street stops that we're gonna take you along with.
We're leaving Memphis. We are leaving Memphis. We only stayed here a couple days, but it was nice. I liked this part. So we stayed at the KOA in Memphis, and I don't know if we have even talked about that yet, but it's a really nice, quiet little park. It's actually the first KOA we ever stayed at. It is. Yeah, that is also quite surprising since we've been doing this for almost two years now. First KOA experience, and it was a good KOA. It's right off the interstate. I didn't think the noise was hardly anything. I think if you were sitting outside, you could hear the traffic noise just from the interstate, but inside our RV, we couldn't hear anything, which was perfect. They also serve breakfast here, breakfast and dinner, Yeah. Right? Yeah. Dinner they'll bring to your RV. Yeah, so you can order dinner here at the KOA and they will cook it and then they'll bring it to your RV right to your front door, which we thought was amazing. And they have really, really good, cheap breakfast. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, we're going to get going underway, and we have no idea where we're going tonight yet. Kind of nope. just seems to be the theme of our travel. <laughs> so we'll let you know when we get there. Find out. Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? Oh. oh. So I'm not sure if we touched on it yesterday, but we have made it to Springfield, Illinois. We are going to check out where Abraham Lincoln lived, and they have a bunch of preserved buildings around here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they have a whole section um, basically kind of marked off as federally protected land, and it's Lincoln's neighborhood. So this is the house that he bought prior to becoming president. Lincoln lived in this house for the majority of his life. Um, he bought the house for 1500 bucks. That would be so nice nowadays. <laughs> um, and then, except for when he became 16th president of the United States, he did move to Washington, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but the house has been preserved and they do tours and we are getting ready to go on one of those. Yeah, so. Just finished up our tour of the Lincoln House, and yes, they encourage videography, so we're good. Yes, so we were able to video and take pictures, and we got to touch the railing of the original part of the house, which is very cool. <laughs> the only original thing they let you touch. Yes. So we got to touch the same hand railing that Lincoln and his family all got to use going up and down the stairs. <laughs> that was really cool. It was cool. Uh, they got actually quite a few original pieces. I was pretty shocked. Yeah, yeah, I was really surprised. The the stove is original. A lot of pieces of furniture in Lincoln's bedroom particularly were original pieces, which was very cool. Including the desk where he wrote his speeches. The very small desk. It was actually quite tiny. I was shocked because he's a big guy. But 
If you are coming through Springfield, we highly recommend doing this Lincoln tour. It's free 30 minutes yeah. through the National Park Service. Use it for an educating <laughs> moment for your children too. Yeah. Uh, this is a really or cool yourself. stop to just to show a little bit of our country's history and one of the, one of the big figures behind our country. Mm -hmm. And they also have uh, basically a whole original neighborhood. So we're going to go wander around that and we'll show you that a little bit too. Yeah. There's some houses I want to see. We still haven't forgotten our mission for the bakery. We're doing oh, some we're research. Doing that. <laughs> so actually, Lincoln's house is two stories, but that was an addition. This brown house right here, they say, is actually more what it looked like when they when first it bought it. Yep. And then they were able to do additions. I really like how they preserve this whole neighborhood. Not just specifically the Lincoln's house, but they preserved everything around it on this whole two, three block space, would you say? It's really cool to actually see what it was like because all of these houses have history in them. Yeah. And they're, I think they're all original or at least close. Yeah, they, the park services uh, said that they did their best to make sure all of the houses maintained as much originality as they could. Obviously, some of them have been repainted um, just to, you know, bring them up back to their color that they would have been back in the day. But for the most part, a lot of these are original, like the bones are original in every single house here. And some of these houses have plaques next to them kind of explaining who lived here. Like. This uh, this little house over here, this green one, that one, there. that little <laughs> one right there, that's where uh, President Lincoln's wife's best friend lived. I think that's really cool. I think that's so cool. Like there's, this whole area has been so well preserved and it's like walking through history. Yeah. I think it's interesting too that they actually, you know, we have cement and everything now, but they just use wooden boardwalks is their yeah. sidewalks and their curbs and you would have your gravel wood or muddy streets so it's kind of interesting to actually experience that yeah yeah so all the sidewalks are these wooden planks um even the road i mean they it, it, they kept yeah. the road kind of as close as they could as close as they could <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this is it's a very very unique um historical stop compared to other places we've been mm -hmm. i'm glad we did this i think this is awesome so coffee and tea were a must. Unfortunately, we could not get close enough to a local shop. Yeah. So sometimes you gotta do Starbucks, <laughs> but that's all right. Starbucks for the win. Passing by the old Capitol building. It's, Pretty cool. It's cool to see it, but it is definitely not as shiny and new as the new Capitol building. What'd we find? We found a bakery. Yells the buns. What is that? A guava and cream cheese pastry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get your own. Mm. We did also get this one's so brownie for later. Yeah, that one's for later. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Right. This feels like rock. Time to dive into these. ending our day here in Springfield. We have one more destination that we're gonna go to for dinner, which should be kind of cool because it's on Route 66. So I yeah. think that that'll be interesting for a lot of you RVers. Uh, what did you think, David? Uh, thumbs up for Springfield. Springfield is nice. If you can make it work, come on by. It's a quaint little town. It's not very big, actually, it's for really a capital. It's small. For like, being a capital city, this feels quaint and quiet. It's, very, it's really pretty, actually. We're gonna go have dinner at Motorhead's Bar and Grill, which I believe 
is on Route 66 and they have a bunch of old cars. Something. I don't know. I saw some pictures. I'm not exactly sure what we're getting into. <laughs> I know they have a lot of live music usually, but it is a Tuesday, so I'm not really expecting a whole lot of that. We'll find out. But the bonus, it's very close to Double J's RV Park. Yes. We are heading out of Springfield, Illinois today. We are finally heading to Iowa for my next contract. So apologies for the traffic noise. We just had to uh, stop at a rest stop alongside the interstate. David noticed that our uh, fender flare, we lost the front screw and the second screw was actually being pulled out as well. So that was flapping in the wind a little bit. We really didn't want it to break going down the road. We have another 80 miles to drive today. So good old fashioned duct tape. <laughs> For a minor repair until we can fix it, it later. Work. What? It should work. It should work. Next. We're just continuing our way down the road. We got about 100 miles till we get to the RV park in Iowa. And it's, it's very flat. I remember <laughs> that. And there's not much else to really show you other than flat Midwest. We are back in the land of the Midwest where everything is flat. Of course, we're going up the, like the one hill. Eh, it's still pretty flat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crops and farm fields and deer. <laughs> it's like we're home. Pretty close. <laughs> if you don't know, I'm a travel nurse and I'm starting a new contract here in a few days mm -hmm. and I have to be fit tested with an N95 which basically means it's a very tight mask that seals around, protects you from airborne diseases like TB and COVID. And I have to be tested so no facial hair. Yep, unfortunately. So it's that time. But we'll have a little fun, we'll see how many different styles of beard and... Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sad about it. Mutton chops Ooh. we can do. Morty's upset. Are you done? Oh. Alright, without further ado. You see these clumps coming off this man? This is why <laughs> I told him he has to do this outside. This was not happening inside the RV. Yeah, that's a style right oh, there. That's so weird. <laughs> I think that's all you should do. I like this. Like handlebar? Probably get right. standing up too. Ready for the fit testing. No. <laughs> it's okay. I love you anyway. Thank you so much for watching. We know this was a bit of a longer video, but if you're still here with us, just know that we appreciate it so, so much. Next up, David starts his contract here in Iowa, and we adjust back to living in a small town in the good old Midwest. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out.